hello students good day and welcome once again to this channel today we are going to start a new topic that is mensuration now mensuration is basically the branch of mathematics that studies the measurement of geometric figures and their parameters like the length surface area volume and so on and so forth now in this video we are going to focus on some of the basic shapes that we already know we are going to talk about the rectangle and the square. We are going to learn how to calculate or find the perimeter and area of these closed plane figures. So let's begin with a rectangle. So a rectangle is a four-sided figure with all its sides being at right angles to each other. Or better still, all the sides being at 90 degrees to each other so this is 90 degrees 90 degrees 90 degrees and then 90 degrees now the opposite sides are equal and they are parallel as well so let's say this is the length of the rectangle and this is the width of the rectangle if this is a b c d then the side a b is equal to the side d c and this is the length l then also the side a d is equal to the side b c and this is the width Now let's talk about the perimeter and area of a rectangle. So the perimeter is basically the length or the distance around its boundary. The length or the distance around its boundary. So if AB is L, then DC is also L. And then if BC is W, then AD is also W. In that case, the perimeter is going to be L plus L plus W plus W. So we have L plus L plus W plus W. We can simplify this as L plus L, we have two L, and then W plus W, we have two W. We can factor out two so that we have two times L plus W. So this is the perimeter of the rectangle. Now let's talk about the area. So the area is the region bounded by the rectangle. Okay, the region bounded by the rectangle. So we are going to multiply the length by the width. So the area is length times width. Notice that area is measured in square units. So if the length is in meters and the width is also in meters, then you have the area to be meter square. Now let's move on to a square. So a square is a special type of rectangle with all its sides being equal and the sides are also at right angles to each other. So the sides are equal and they are right angles to each other. So we have L, 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 and then L. Now the perimeter of a square is equal to L plus L plus L plus L. And this gives us 4L. So this is the perimeter of a square, 4L. And then for the area, we have the area to be length times length so that is l times l and this gives l square so basically these are the formulas in finding the perimeter and the area of a rectangle and a square now let's solve or let's take some examples so for the first example find the perimeter and area of i 
a rectangle of length 6 cm and width 4 cm and then ii a square of side 6 cm. Let's solve this example together. So we are going to find the perimeter and area of I, a rectangle of length 6 cm and width 4 cm. So we have the length of the rectangle to be 6 cm and then we have the width to be 4 cm. Therefore, the perimeter we know is given by 2L plus 2W. So we have 2 times L which is 6 and then 2 times W which is 4. 2 times 6 gives us 12 and then 2 times 4 gives 8. So when we add 12 to 8 we have 20. Therefore the perimeter is 20 centimeters. This is the perimeter of the rectangle. So let's call this A. Okay, and then the area will be B. So the area of a rectangle is given by the length times the width. We have the length to be 6 and the width to be 4. So 6 times 4 is 24. So we have 24 centimeter square. So this is the area. Now let's solve for II. That is a square of side 6 centimeters. So the side 6 centimeters is the same as the length being 6 centimeters. Hence the perimeter of a square is given by 4L. So we have 4 times 6 and this gives 24. So the perimeter is 24 centimeters. So for the area, the area of a square is given by L square. We have L to be 6, so 6 square, this gives 36. So we have 36 centimeter square. This is the area of the square. Now let's move on to our second example. Now to example 2. The perimeter of a rectangular plot is 36 meters. The length is 6 meters more than the width. Find the width. So let's solve this problem together. Now we are told that the perimeter of a rectangular plot is 36 meters. The length is 6 meters more than the width. We are going to find the width. So since we don't know the width, we are going to say that let the width be x. So we are going to represent the width with the variable x. Now if the width is x, then the length is 6 plus x because the length is 6 meters more than the width. So the length which is L is 6 plus x. So since the perimeter of the rectangular plot is 36 meters, we know that the perimeter of a rectangle is given by 2L plus 2W and we are told that this is equal to 36 meters. Therefore, we have the equation 2L plus 2W equals 36. So at this point, we can substitute the values of the length and the width into this expression. So we have 2 times the length is 6 plus x plus we have the width to be x. So 2 times x, this is equal to 36. Let's multiply across. 2 times 6 gives 12 and then here we have 2x plus 2x equals 36. So this becomes 12 plus 
four x equals thirty six, and then we transpose twelve to the right hand side. So we have four x equals thirty six minus twelve, and this gives us twenty four. Therefore, we have four x equals twenty four. We divide through by four, and then we have x to be equal to six. Therefore, the width of the rectangular plot is six meters. So for example three, the area of a square field is 16 p square. What is the perimeter of the field? The area of a square field is 16 p square. What is the perimeter of the field? Now we are told that the area of this square field is 16 p square. Now to find the perimeter, we need to find the length of the square field. We also know that the area of a square is length times length, which is L square. Therefore, L square is equal to 16 p square. Now we are going to take the square root of both sides. So we have the square root of L square equals the square root of 16 p square. So this cancels this, that is the square cancels the square root. And then we have L to B. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of P square is P. Therefore, we have the length L to be 4P. Now the perimeter of a square is equal to 4L, which is 4 times the length. So if the length is 4P, then we have 4 times 4P, and this gives us 16P. So the perimeter of the square field is 16P. So for example 4, find the area of the shaded portion find the area of the shaded portion so we have a figure which is made up of a rectangle and then a square so we have a rectangle and a square rectangle because we have the side not to be equal one is longer than the other and then inside of it we have a square which has sides four centimeters each so this is a square now to find the area of the shaded portion we are going to find the area of the rectangular figure and then we also find the area of the square and then we subtract that of the square from the rectangle and then we can find the area of the shaded portion. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Let's do this together. So first of all, let's find the area of the rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is given by the length times the width. So we have the length to be 12 centimeters. So 12 times the width to be 5 centimeters. So that is 5. 12 times 5 is 60. So this is 60 centimeters square. This is the area of the rectangle. Now for the area of the square, area of the square is given by the length times the length so that is L square so we have L to be 4 centimeters so 4 square gives 16 so the area is 16 centimeter square that is the area of the square now to find the area of the shaded portion area of the shaded portion that is the area of the rectangle 60 centimeter square minus the area of the square which is 16 centimeter square and then this is equal to 44 centimeter square so this is the area of the shaded portion so that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.